It's fa la 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 la, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate, whatever you believe in, be. Welcome to Nellyville. <laughs> this is Vlogmas part two. If you haven't seen the first episode, go ahead and click right up here. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and click the post notification bell. Okay, so we took care of business. Let's just get right into the video. Whoa, we're sorry, I'm gonna turn that light off. Oh, wait, is the light better? No, I'm gonna turn it off. We're not doing anything special for Vlogmas Part 2. What kind of channel do you think this is? One where I actually put in effort? No! We're just going to get gas. Okay, so let's just go. We Look at me learning how to drive safely. There is something that's on my mind that I think is very important that we remember for not only the holiday season, but just kind of all year round, just a good rule of thumb. And I know you're like, Chanel, just get to the point. Okay, look, if you're looking for someone to get to the point, you're on the wrong damn channel. We Tell them, Judy's, how long does it take for us to get to the point around here? I just want to talk a little bit about joy and peace of mind and happiness. Also, sorry if the camera is uh, shaking. But like, we're not here for quality content. We're just here for <laughs> anything we can grab onto, right? I really need for you guys to not let anyone steal your joy. Joy is a gift from God. Happiness is a choice. It is an emotion. It can be finicky. So sometimes you have to fake your happiness until it actually exists. As far as joy, Hold on to that shit, okay? Look, some people are out in this world to do nothing more but to steal your joy. Sometimes it's on purpose. Sometimes they don't even realize they're doing it. Look, what I'm saying is not anything really complicated and it's not anything that you haven't heard before. All I'm saying is there's some people out there that are gonna try to steal your joy and you just have to say, no, you're not, I'm, no, no. Okay, look, anything joyous that you can grasp onto, happy, positivity, any kind of light, cling to it. But more importantly, do not let these bitter, bitter Topangas come and steal the little bit of joy that you might have, okay? And in all reality, you have a whole lot more joy than you think. Glass half full, people, is about how you want to look at things, okay? But let me tell you something else. We live in a world where it's always gonna be something or someone that is testing your patience and trying to steal your joy, whether it be on purpose or because they don't, they don't even realize that they're doing it, okay? You have to be in charge of controlling yourself. Okay, if they wanna be miserable, let them be miserable. What does that have to do with you? And yes, it, it is a lot easier said than done to say, hey, that person's being miserable. I'm not gonna let them ruin my day. And it, it is, it's something that you have to practice. It is. But let me tell you something. When you master the art of not letting people steal your, your, your light, it's, it's so worth it. And the more you practice it, the easier it does get. But you, you have to have to know you have to know, sorry for the lighting, when to say, you know what? It's not worth me ruining my day. It's not worth me ruining my lunch hour. It's not worth me being mean to my spouse or my kids. Now, that leads me to my next point. If we all have bad days, okay? You have a right to feel whatever you need to feel. If you're having a day Sometimes you might just have a bad day for no reason. Sometimes the crappy things that people do to us, it does get to us. And we can't say, you know what, that didn't get on my nerves or that didn't hurt my feelings or rub me the wrong way. Sometimes enough is just enough and you can't take it. That's perfectly fine. Feel what you need to feel when you need to feel it, but then pull yourself out of that. Don't, don't soak in it, but during those times, when you can't pull yourself out of that, that negativity, of that negative mind state, remove yourself. Don't be around other people who are holding on to their joy and then, and then taking out your, your grief on them. 
don't 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 do that don't be the person who is stealing other people's joy and happiness because you're because you're in a mood okay don't be that person so just the same way you need to be self-aware and hold on to your own happiness you need to check yourself okay and say hey you know what i'm kind of in a mood might not be the best thing for me to be around people and sometimes you know you just got to put on a happy face don't be out here being mean to your kids and to your girlfriends and to your boyfriends and whoop the woo woos don't 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 do that because they ain't did nothing to you don't be out here being mean to these children don't do that it's not it's not right it's not fair and then now you done ruined their joy and then they're gonna go piss somebody else off look don't want to get preaching okay we just got to the gas station let me pump my gas okay let me pick a pump i'm gonna pump my gas okay okay just put a pin in that i know we were on a roll i know we were on a roll all right give me a second just one quick little second five minutes later Uh, 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 ow. So what were we talking about? Oh yeah, okay, so joy, happiness, being self-aware, removing ourselves when we need to. Look, I don't want to get preachy. I'm just saying that we're living in a time where it's a little more difficult to hold on to your joy and your peace of mind. Everyone's on edge. Everyone is stressed out. Everyone is broke. Now is more important time than any to just focus on the light. And if that light is hard for you to hold on to, hard for you to find the joy and to remember the gift from God, because your joy can never go away. It's always there. So remember that. Happiness can come and go because that's an emotion. Joy is the gift from God to fill you up when the happiness is gone. But, if it's hard for you to feel and find that joy, you might want to start to question and evaluate the things that you are surrounding yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with positivity, positive music, positive podcasts? What are you watching on TV? Who are your friends? Who are your family? Friends and family can be cut off. Friends, families, neighbors, you are not obligated to put up with anybody's toxicity. Toxic, 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 whatever the word is. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know, this ain't no grammar lesson. Just because they're blood or whatever, if somebody is not fueling their, your energy, you know, minus the occasional rough day, because like I said, everyone has bad days, but if somebody is just consistently being a negative Nancy and a pain in your ass, cut them off. Off. your peace of mind your peace of mind is precious and no one is allowed to use you as a punching bag to abuse you to take out their frustrations on if people need to vent that's okay but even if it's just something venting if you talk to someone and all they ever have is negative stuff to say you know maybe distance yourself from them be there for your friends and your family for, for sure but don't be the person that's just always complaining. Be there for one another and to listen. Check on your friends and ask them if they need to vent or talk about anything. For sure, that's what we're here for, to support one another. There is venting and then there's just straight up complaining and no one likes a complainer. Find the joy. Find out what's taking your joy and your happiness. Be in control of your actions. For one, the source of your joy needs to be the Lord, all right? People and things cannot be the source of your happiness because if that's the case, you can be a very miserable person a lot more often. If you place that responsibility onto people, you need to be responsible for your own rea your own actions and how you react to things. You can't depend on your, your significant others or your kids to be the ones to pull you out of bad situations. If you're the type to get angry at some stuff and you think you feel like you need somebody there to tell you to calm down or you won't be able to do it, that's not that's not healthy thinking. That's that's child thinking. That's child thinking. 
if you're the type of person you get mad and you black out or you get mad and you do stupid things and you blame it on you need to know how to calm yourself you need to know how to calm yourself because somebody might not always be there to be that voice of reason you got to listen to your own conscience but more than that you got to learn how to not let people get you that far i mean we all human and sometimes people just know know just what to say they know just what to do, what buttons to push to get you to go over that edge. But realize, man, that's some people's goal to get you to go over the edge. To make you lose it. So that you get put out. So that you get fired. So that you lose the stuff that you worked hard for. And then look at you. Jobless and angry. Bitter. Like them. It's not worth it. Sometimes you just have to say, you know what? It is what it is, and I'm okay with that. Sometimes it just has to be a decision to just say, I'm not going to be in a mood today. And I'm not talking about people who have depression or anxiety. I know that it is certain situations where you can't... <laughs> Sorry, the camera's all over the place. It, uh, there are certain situations where you can't just make that decision to you know what I mean but I'm not I'm not talking about that I'm talking about the times where you are of sound mind and adult adult enough mature enough this is for the young Judy's too young Judy's you can you can train yourself to do this too just be proactive with with your peace of mind and to take control of it and to say hey I'm going to make a good choice I'm not going to knock they block off today you can't have a mindset of oh i'm gonna bust the cap in that you can't have that mindset if you are the type of person i mean we've all had moments where we wanted to choke the shit out of somebody we all have i have you have everybody has everybody's had that moment but if you feel like you want to choke the shit out of somebody over every little thing or you're a type of person you feel like you would really actually do it. Because it's one thing to have a thought like, damn, I could really smack her right now. And it's another thing to, to be like, you know what? As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to knock her block off. If you, if you have that mentality and if you get it really, really easily, if you can slip into that, you, you might want to evaluate what, what else, what's really stimming your anger, uh, stimulating your anger and feeding it. Because if someone cutting you off in traffic just ruins your whole afternoon it might be something deeper going on there if your neighbor parks in front of your house or maybe doesn't speak to you or they say something that's a little um not very polite and that ruins your whole day or you you know it might be something deeper there you, you have a right to have your moments, but you just need to be really aware of your peace of mind and hanging on to it. Spread a little joy to somebody else. Ask people, how you doing? You are, and really mean it. We say, hey, how you doing? Just as a, as a, as a courtesy. But really ask people, how you doing? You know? Anyways, I could go on and on about this, but I just thought it was important that we touch on this for the holiday season because let's be honest, most of us this year, all you getting is a Merry Christmas and a smile, okay? Not that Christmas is about gifts, per se. It's about the gift of Jesus, little baby Jesus, but if we could give each other joy and if we could give ourselves the gift of choosing to be happy, to be positive, to the gift of being able to see the glasses half full and appreciating what's going right instead of dwelling on what's going wrong. If we could give ourselves that gift, I think that 2020, the rest of it, and then going into 2021 would be a lot better. Jingle bells, jingle bells.